Okay, uh, to save you a lot of time for when you are showing up for your practical, and uh, which is a learning experience where you demonstrate um, that you've mastered certain traits or character qualities or outcomes, learner outcomes, it's really important that you think through what is strong and what's weak evidence. S weak evidence would be kind of what you did. Like when you just talk about the activities that you did or you, you talk about how you spent your time or what you thought about it, um, that's, that's kind of weak evidence. Strong evidence is when you can talk about results. You can talk about, hey, after I did these activities, after I thought these things, after I made these plans, after I made this strategy, after I did all these things, here's what occurred in the short term, and here's how you can see it, and then here's what occurred in the long term, and then here's you know how you can see it. So an example would be, you know, for for entrepreneurship, if you're trying to prove mastery that you understand entrepreneurship and, and, and you know how to develop a minimum viable product and you understand what passive income is, weak evidence would be you know looking at you know like a business plan. I mean, that's important and it's crucial and it's a part of it, but stronger than that would actually be your sales numbers. Like how, mu how much did you sell over what period of time? You know, an example of, let's say creativity. You know, um, creativity is a lot about the process, and so when you when you when you share about creativity, not only do you want to share the results and the end outcome, you also want to share about that whole process, your creative process, and the, even the good ideas that didn't make you know the final product or final idea. But but a weak evidence of creativity would be you know like maybe talking about the different pieces of art that you've made, um, or maybe even showing some of the art. I mean, that's, that's one version of creativity and that's beautiful and that's important, but, but an even stronger example of creativity would be to share uh, a list of all the beautiful ideas that you had for a project that actually didn't make it into it and demonstrate that process of narrowing down um, your ideas and choosing and honing in on one idea and then you created some product and then what were the results of that product? Maybe that you sold that piece of artwork for $100. Or maybe you uh, came up with a proposal that was very creative and the result was that the person that you were working for or the person that you were presenting it to wholeheartedly accepted it and said, yes, we've got to do that. We're going to take that idea and we're going to use it. That is incredibly compelling evidence. So when you're thinking about evidence, think about the outcomes in the short term. Think about the outcomes in the long term, what people did with your product or proposal or prototype or response, um, how they reacted to it uh, and, and what it did actually in the real world. That will be the most compelling evidence you can have for your mastery transcript. More strong evidence for the mastery transcript is something that Tyler considers tangible, something that can stand alone on itself. Um, as opposed to something weak would be something that you would really have to in depth explain. Okay, this is a perfect example. So you volunteering at, let's say you're trying to show um, cross-cultural competence, right? Let's say you took a six month vacation to, I don't know, Aruba okay, or something like that. And you lived within the locals and everybody who lived there and you helped them or you uh, did a, a, a broad session or something like that or something like that where you're really like immersed in it. That's really, really, really extremely strong evidence. Whereas weak evidence is like, oh, well, I read a book on it. That's still okay evidence. You just need definitely more things to back that up. You would need like seven of those um, to kind of have anything to do or, or have on the same level as that piece of strong evidence. Well, with strong evidence, it's very standalone. It can sort of speak itself. Uh, with with weaker evidence, uh, you're going to have to explain the whole story and they explain everything. And so you want to kind of stray away from that, obviously, because the colleges aren't going to be able to hear from you when they see that. So you want to be able to just kind of put something on there and then have it explain itself. So when a college admissions officer opens up the transcript, they can literally see that this kid is that learner outcome. Um, for example, uh, one of the heroes recently did self-aware. Um, and when myself and Tyler looked at that, we said, okay, we know that this kid is self-aware, but his evidence doesn't stand alone. Um, so he has to go back to the drawing board. Um, it could be a picture, it could be a collage, it could be a letter, it could be something that showcases who this learner is uh, without them being there.